Hello, I'm Ben Proctor with NECI's Reliability Solutions Group. Our team helps plant maintenance and facilities teams execute predictive maintenance programs. We have a broad portfolio of technologies and service offerings that help you be more proactive with your maintenance strategies. Let's take a look at Emerson's AMS Wireless Vibration Monitor. Here we're showing AMS Wireless Vibration Monitors mounted on a pump and a motor inboard bearing. This is a typical arrangement for small assets. For larger assets, there would be value in mounting a sensor on each bearing. This is a tri-axial vibration measurement device that measures vibration in the horizontal, vertical, and axial directions. AMS Wireless Vibration Monitor enables you to monitor and receive alerts about the health of your assets, allowing you to make equipment maintenance decisions proactively before a failure occurs, reducing unplanned downtime and maintenance costs. The AMS Wireless Vibration Monitor uses wireless heart, which is a standard industrial protocol that is rugged, secure, and in use in thousands of industrial plants around the world. Wireless heart is a self-organizing mesh where every transmitter is a repeater, and if one path is blocked, another is automatically created. Wireless Heart is a highly secure protocol that is in use at U.S. government facilities and at nuclear power plants. Wireless Heart is used for many applications in addition to vibration, including pressure, temperature, flow, level, steam trap monitoring, and many others. The AMS Wireless Vibration Monitor incorporates Emerson's PeakView Plus prescriptive analytics. This technology differentiates between high impacting that is non-periodic, for example, doesn't occur at the same time each rotation, and periodic, and can provide notification to the user that there is a lubrication problem or there is a bearing fault. This allows a user who is not a vibration analyst to make educated maintenance decisions. In the top example here, the lubrication severity is quite high, and the bearing severity is low, meaning that there is no bearing damage yet, and performing proper lubrication will reduce the vibration and extend equipment life. In the bottom example, the bearing severity is high, and lubrication severity is low, meaning that lubrication is not going to help and it's time to change the bearing. In addition to PeakView Plus, the AMS Wireless Vibration Monitor provides parameter bands that help to determine basic vibration diagnostics at lower frequencies. These bands are based on turning speed, so are available for fixed speed applications to diagnose imbalance, misalignment, looseness, blade pass, or vein pass issues. As you will see in the demo, in addition to these basic diagnostic indicators, full vibration analysis capabilities are available when AMS Machine Works software is included with the wireless system. Let's take a look at the equipment we're monitoring. Here we have a motor connected to a flywheel via a coupling and we have mounted a weight on the flywheel, which is causing an imbalance. We have mounted an AMS wireless vibration monitor on each bearing of the motor, which will give us vibration readings in all three axes, as well as machine skin temperature. The AMS wireless vibration monitors are connected to our Emerson 1410S wireless gateway, which provides the interface to Emerson's AMS machine work software for vibration analysis, which we will show you in a moment. The gateway can also be interfaced via wired or wireless Ethernet with existing software systems such as historians, SCADA, building management systems, or automation systems to provide trending and alerts. Now let's look at the AMS MachineWorks user interface and see what machine health data is available from our AMS wireless vibration monitors. Upon login, the user will be brought to the dashboard homepage. From here, we can quickly see machine measurement status as well as the status of our connected monitoring devices. As you can see under machine status, we have one total asset, which is the demo motor we just showed you. Currently the motor status is shown as warning. Let's click into it for more details. Upon navigating to the asset, you'll find various information about that asset on each quadrant of the screen. The top left represents the machine template and provides a visual representation of machine configuration, which bearings are being monitored, and individual bearing health. Underneath the machine we have trend plots, where vibration data and temperature trends for each bearing can be viewed. In the top right, parameter bars display the most recently collected data points, along with configured alert limits for a quick 
easy visual reference of current status. We can also view the machine configuration or the machine journal to see if there are any relevant work posts related to this machine. We'll take a closer look at that in a minute. In the bottom right, we can quickly view any collected waveforms or spectra, as well as the PeakView Plus we mentioned earlier to detect bearing and lubrication faults. On this machine, you can see we have high vibration based on the orange alert levels. We're currently looking at the outboard bearing. In the lower right quadrant, the marker on the Peak View Plus indicator bars is in the green area, indicating that currently there are no bearing or lubrication issues, so something else is causing this vibration. Note that our overall vibration is showing an alert level, and to narrow down the cause, note that our first interval band for low frequency around turning speed is showing the highest alert level, potentially indicating an imbalance. Now that you've noticed an issue, what do you do next? Remember the machine journal we talked about? Here we see that a case was already open on May 27th regarding an alert and a request was made to contact NECI for remote analysis to verify the root cause. Analysis is done using the built-in vibration analysis tool via the menu at the top right corner of the page. This feature allows a vibration analyst to determine the cause of the issue utilizing the detailed waveform and spectrum data collected in AMS MachineWorks from the AMS wireless vibration monitors. If you don't have a vibration analyst on site, NECI can provide services to do the analysis for you remotely. Going back to the machine journal post, you can see that plant personnel acknowledged the issue and scheduled NECI to perform the remote analysis. NECI was able to diagnose the issue, respond to the post, and recommend the necessary corrective action, balancing the fan. Let's review how information can be delivered to users to take action. In addition to the AMS MachineWorks software we've been looking at, machine health data can also be brought into any OPC UA, Ethernet IP, or Modbus client for trending and alerting. This could include pretty much any historian, SCADA, building management system, or automation system. Connection to the wireless heart gateway can be made via hardwired Ethernet or Wi-Fi, or via cellular if connection to a site network isn't feasible. NECI can provide integration services to support setting up your desired interface. Select the other solution if you'd like to learn more. For additional information, visit our website or contact us via the information shown here.